this is Sarah Yoga, and I am Sarah. So today, yay, we have a joyful, joyful yoga practice, a really simple, sweet, gentle yoga practice to cultivate and to highlight that joy of the day, whatever it might be, but really tapping into just this really peaceful, content, joyful quality that we all have. So the only thing you're gonna need is yourself and your mat, and we will go ahead and jump right into that joyful, joyful yoga. Okay, so we're gonna ground down here for a moment. Take a seat in an easy Sukhasana seat. This is not comfortable. You can always find a chair. You can prop yourself up, do whatever you need to do. Again, this channel, this yoga that I continue to teach is not about being fancy. You can do this in your pajamas. It's all about making yourself feel better and tapping into that full range of emotion that we all have. Today we are focusing on joy. So let's find that seat, close your eyes, soften the jaw, feel the heart center lift up. So as we start to really open up and make ourselves available to potential, to different possibility around us. It's really important to do some exercises that focus on heart opening, chest opening, keeping the sternum lifted, right? It's because we all have a tendency to close off here. So just do your best, right? Again, this isn't a competition. This is just the best that you can do in this moment. We're gonna feel the heart lift up slightly, not over exaggerating, not straining in any way, let your shoulders drop away from your ears. And if you have a lot going on today, consider this practice just a short little gift before you go off and interact with a bunch of other different people or different tasks at hand. Let's come right into the breath. Take a nice big inhale through the mouth. And just notice how you feel. Take another deep breath in, fill up the chest cavity, the lower belly. Exhale. And one more deep breath in. Exhale. Maybe even turning the corners of your mouth out, a simple smile. <laughs> kind of enjoying this time that you have for yourself. Totally a gift. Let's take one more of those giant breaths in together. Inhale. Exhale, release. And we'll just let the hands slide off. Take a nice big breath in. So feeling that chest peel open, lift up, look up. Let's twist it up and over to the left. Easy twist. So in this twist, feel the heart expand and open up. Feel planted through that right sit bone. Feel the chin nice and parallel with the ground so the back of the neck is long. And come right back into your breath. Exhale, release. Let's switch sides, release. Inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale, twist it up and over to the right. Use your inhale to peel the chest open, but again, keeping it soft so you're not straining. It's finding a balance. Come right into the breath. Notice the jaw, the back of the neck. One more inhale. Exhale, return back to center. And then we'll get out of this seat and start to move a little. So come around, find your hands and your knees. Spread the palms, knees underneath the hips. Let's take some hip circles and kind of wiggle it out, right? So if you've been super busy, chances are you're not really having as much time to maybe exercise or stretch or breathe. So give yourself this moment here for free form movement, really circling out. Sometimes it feels good to drop the hips down, take a lazy upward dog and rock from side to side. So let it be a little fun. 
can shake out the head, uh, let a breath go out of the mouth, maybe throw in a couple cat cows here using your inhale to sweep forward. Exhale to round. Maybe let a breath go out of the mouth. You can stick out your tongue. Ha! Ah, stretch the jaw. And then, and then let's take this up into downward dog. So pedal it out. Ah. Maybe take one leg up and peel open the hip. Only if that feels good, right? So again, just finding any movement here. Either on your hands and your knees, or if you've taken it up into downward dog. Nice. And then we'll come back down. And let's find our cat cow together now. So we're gonna use our inhale to sweep the heart forward on the breath in. Really focusing on opening up the heart and then exhale, finding more space into the back of the heart through the shoulder blades. Push down into the mat. And again, deep breath in. <sighs> exhale. Right, at least one more. Three is the charm. Take it all the way through. Exhale. Around. We're gonna walk the knees back. Take a little modified plank bow so you can bend your knees, roll open through the heart. So keep that heart pulling forward. Look down so the crown of the head pulls forward. And you keep that sort of plank flat back, heart pulling forward all the way down. And then we're gonna line up our elbows right underneath the shoulders for Sphinx pose. And in this Sphinx pose, we'll find that same variation of cat cow, but we're gonna activate the legs by pushing into the tops of the toes, feeling the knees lift off the ground, push down through the pelvis, and then on your inhale, push into the elbows, roll the heart forward, maybe the chin even comes up. Exhale, pull the navel up and in, round. Inhale, take it forward. And exhale. Round again, one more. Making it an even three. Exhale. Round. This time just come straight through center. Keep your gaze forward. Roll the shoulders down the way. Take a breath in, look to the right. Bend that right knee. Inhale, foot comes down, back to center. Exhale to the left, bend that left knee. Inhale, one more round to the right on your exhale. Inhale, exhale to your left on the exhale. And slide the hands back underneath your shoulders. And we're gonna take it right back up into downward dog. So this time just pull the left heel down, send that right leg up, take a nice big stretch. Exhale, step the foot all the way through. Lower that back knee down. Heading into Anjaneyasana. So we're gonna come up, slide the hands right onto the tops of the, or the top of that right thigh, clasping the hands. And we'll find that same cat cow. So on your inhale, roll open. Exhale, round. Nice, inhale, take it up. Exhale, round. Last time. Exhale, round. This time on your inhale, take it all the way up. Take your arms into cactus arms. Peel open the heart, lean back, pinch your elbows together. Maybe look up slightly. And then we're gonna twist to the right. Bring that left hand to the knee. Start to reach the right arm back in space. And then bend the elbow, bring the hand to the back of the head. Push the head back, maybe twist a little bit deeper, rolling open through the chest and the sternum. Exhale, release. Hands come down. Just step it right back into downward dog, or you can always come back into child's pose. And we'll just take a few rounds of breath here. So again, you can kind of wiggle it out. You can rock your hips from side to side if you're in downward dog. Now feeling light. You can rock your head from side to side if you're in child's pose. And then if you are in child's pose, maybe just for this final breath, 
you meet us back up into downward dog and we'll take one more breath here send that left leg up deep breath in and then we'll step it through setting up for that low lunge anjaneyasana on the left side so hands again clasp right on top of the left thigh cat cow inhale roll open exhale round inhale roll open exhale round let's take one more deep breath in exhale round nice inhale take it up find the cactus arms and the elbows rolling open lift up through the chest pinch your elbows back maybe you rent those hips sink down but can you pull your left hip crease back right hip forward and then lift up and out of the ground one more inhale exhale heading into our twist right hand to that left knee start to take the left arm back in space and then from here bend your left elbow bring the hand to the back of the head push the head back and feel that opening through the chest just see if you can drop your right shoulder down a little maybe smile <laughs> one more inhale exhale release so set the palms down come back to that modified plank pose we'll rock forward keep the heart reaching forward look down long line in the spine and brings you all the way down this time we're gonna walk the hands off of the mat bend your elbows point those toes again push through the tops of the feet and then on your inhale roll open through the heart for a little back bend and then just kind of undulating here rolling maybe twisting slightly to the left slightly to the right kind of opening up this chest cavity the shoulders you can kind of roll through the head as well and then let's give ourselves one last moment straight through center so point those toes stretch through the feet again and exhale release so this time we're going to make our way back up either to that downward dog or it might be a nice opportunity to find child's pose knees wide big toes together and we'll just take three rounds of breath here really let the heart center soften down one more inhale ah, exhale release all right awesome so now we are going to come into a pigeon pose so we're going to step that right foot forward walk the foot over to the left bring that shin down flex the right toes see if you can swear your hips off by pulling right hip back left hip forward you can always slide a pillow a block underneath this right hip if you need some support and we'll take that back bend and then exhale lower down and we've just got three rounds of breath here inhale exhale inhale exhale last deep breath in exhale and so option you can stay here or you can start to climb up finding again a little bit more of that back bend so either staying just in this upright pose or maybe playing with bending that back knee maybe playing with reaching the right hand back towards the foot i know this is starting to get crazy but again these are always just steps so any step you need to stop at stop there if you have the foot you can work to kind of flip your hand around and bend the elbow and pull that foot in rolling open through the heart let's just take one more inhale and then exhale release so we're gonna come out of this take a couple circles with the hips
and then we'll start to move to the other side. So you can either come to it straight from all fours, or if you wanna just take a moment to stretch out that right leg here and take it up into downward dog, find that for just a moment. And then we'll step the left foot through, heading to pigeon on the left side to walk the foot over. Lower it down, take that moment to square off your hips. Right hip forward, left hip back. If you need any support, always find it for yourself underneath that left hip. And then we'll let the pelvis get heavy. And then from that space, can you lift up and out of the heart? Point those back toes, little back bend here. Exhale brings you all the way down. Let your head drop. Three rounds of breath, deep inhale. Exhale. And deep inhale. And exhale. And one more deep breath in. <sighs> exhale, really. So again, stay here if you don't want to move on to that heart opening option. Or you can choose to rise up. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you bend the right knee. You can take your left hand back. Reach for the foot if you can find it and then feel the heart open. You might walk the hand to the inner foot, the toe, bend the elbow, kind of lift out of those right fingertips. Roll open, and then exhale, release. So we're all gonna slide out of that pigeon. Take a few happy circles into the hips, maybe the shoulders, maybe the head. Maybe a brief moment here in downward dog to straighten out that left leg. And then come on down. I'm gonna head to our back for one last heart opener. Back bend here. So we'll slide all the way down onto the back. And as you come down, just take your time and set the feet down on the ground. We're heading into bridge pose. So walking your feet underneath the knees, slide the elbows right by the sides of your waist like robot arms, push into the elbows. Right away, feel an arch or a back bend into your upper spine. So roll your shoulder blades underneath you, tilt your chin up. And then from here, you're gonna push into your heels. Lift the hips up, roll the inner thighs down as you push into the inner corners of your feet. Chin stays up, you can stay here with the hands up or you can clasp them behind. Or sometimes it's nice to actually slide the hands underneath the pelvis and lift those hips up, chin up. Feeling the chest open up here. And breathe. So if you want to add a little bit more, you might take that right leg up and then switch and bring it down. Maybe take that left leg up and bring it down. Let's take one more breath and chin up, shoulder blades together and exhale. We're going to release. We'll rinse that off with a couple of circles through the hips and then grab the feet, bring the bottoms of the feet together, pull your knees away from you. <sighs> nice. And then let that go, knees together, final twist. Knees to the left, right arm open, peeling open. Three breaths. And two more. Last one, maybe again cultivating that joy, thinking of something super positive. Maybe just a certain characteristic about the day, something unique about this day, or something unique that you can bring to the day. So we're gonna bring the knees up and over to the right. Send that left arm out. So whether you're dealing with work colleagues or family, Sometimes you need this preparation time to sort of remind yourself, you know, what is important. Remind yourself to breathe and that you've got this. Right. 
really is about that intention. If you think you're going to have a bad day, chances are you will. If you think you're going to have like a magical, amazing day, I mean, sometimes stuff just happens, but chances are your reaction to those things will be a little bit more lighthearted. So we're going to make our way back up into that seat that we started in. And really just honing in everything and feeling that connection once more to the ground, feeling that lift in the chest. So we, we didn't do a whole lot. We didn't take, you know, a typical maybe hour, hour and 15 minute yoga class. But just notice any effects from the practice, maybe taking some final circles with your shoulders here. <sighs> maybe taking a final few deep inhales, deep exhales. Reminding yourself your breath is always a tool. And then let's go ahead and just give ourselves one last smile. Feel that lightness, that air of possibility, bring the hands together right in front of our heart center. And let's take one final deep breath in, through the mouth, let your head bow down. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you take this joy and spread it throughout the rest of your day. Let me know in the comments below how this worked out for you, and I will see you next time on Sarah Yoga.